and Jemima, give me some warm pancakes. I'm dying. What is going on, fishing freaks? Welcome back to the channel. It is a rainy, nasty mess out here, but I figured we would take the adventure wagon out on its uh, first excursion on a little dangle trip. And today's video is sponsored by Fish Brain. Now here in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you why you need to download Fish Brain and you can follow me right here on my handle. But first, I wanna show you guys what the heck is going on around here. With the weather and with the construction on our home, uh, it's delayed me from getting out um, you know, like those nice weather days, uh, I had to be here and like help with the construction crew and everything, so I wasn't able to go. But today is kind of like a break, a small window uh, before the rain really starts coming in. So we're going to shoot out to the lake, we're going to race against time, because uh, about 2 o'clock it's going to start really coming down again. There's a lot of concrete work that's being done, rock work, um, all new irrigation, things that you know, commonly come with a house we didn't have. Um, so we are putting all that stuff in right now. And with this crazy wet weather, uh, it's put a delay on some of it. So I don't have to direct any traffic today. I can go fishing. And I actually don't have the silver bullet here today because uh, my driveway where I keep the boat is in shambles right now. I mean, absolute shambles. Look at my boots. It is just gross out here. Uh, new wall built right there. Uh, I gotta take a pause on that. The masonry work. I can't even get into the driveway right now because there's just piles of dirt and rocks and, and gravel. And just look at the nastiness. So the whole idea there is to drive water away from our house because we've had foundational issues because we, we haven't had sprinklers, irrigation, anything. Water just runs under the house. Causes shifting and as you can tell we have a lot of clay right here. Another big thing they did was take where all the gutters meet at the downspout. They made a pipe that runs all the way down here and they just dug this ditch and then the water pops up right here at this little little doodad. And when it comes out of there, it runs down to the little creek. So that little mushroom cap hopefully is gonna save us from a lot of shifting. So while they've been digging all this stuff up in this process, it's got the brain turning. Well, first of all, how am I gonna get over here to my boat? after you know I park right here that, that used to be the walkway so now I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of walkway situation to get out around here to get to the boat and I thought while we're doing that why don't we just make a little trail over here to the old uh, chicken coop and then I got to thinking another thing we're actually not gonna electrify the fence here we're gonna do a full-blown chicken wire enclosure and the reason is we visited one of our neighbors that's like three or four houses down they have chickens, they have problems with the bobcats, as do we, and foxes and everything else, but they told us bobcats. That kind of sounds like an AR, you know? Maybe somebody's shooting hogs right now. Interesting side note, they also said they trapped 20 hogs at once in their backyard. So, you know, I thought we had hog problems with just a couple. I mean, it is bad just across the little creek right here. We're gonna do a full-blown enclosure because they said the bobcats would just get right in there. And I think they would find a way around the electricity because we have so many little ladders right here. You know, bobcats just go right up there, and jump in. They might get shocked on the way out, but they're gonna get their meal. Main point is we got a lot going on around here, a lot of fun projects. So if you wanna stay tuned for all that, you just Hit that subscribe button. Just look at all the water in the daggum crispy right now. It has come a gully washer. And took the old adventure wagon for a short little mud slinging sash. It performs well. We are not getting stuck in 2020. Enough of the updates y'all. There's just one more thing I gotta do to make the adventure wagon complete and ready for the next day. Fishbrain is simply one of the best fishing apps there is. If you're trying to find places to go fish near you, you gotta download Fishbrain. If you're traveling to a new place, you don't know what species are in the area, or you want to find uh, hot spots, uh, get in touch with other anglers. Fishbrain is the way to go. 
I say this all the time when I'm talking about fish brain, but you will be amazed when you start to look at the waterways near you and see how many people are fishing and posting on the app. You could even find out the best times to fish in that particular area by using Fishbrain's bite time technology where they calculate ev when everyone is catching fish in certain spots. Posting to the app is super simple. It has species identification. You can input all the data and it makes it super useful when you go back in time and you look at when you were catching fish at that time of year. So let's take a look at my favorite moments from fishing in 2019 using Fishbrain. Obviously catching that big double digit largemouth is top on the list. Uh, it's not a PB largemouth for me, but it was an outstanding catch. Uh, caught it on a jig, one of my favorite lures to throw. Caught it on a, on a bed, sight fishing, one of my favorite ways to fish in the spring. And then shortly after that, I had one of my favorite crappie fishing trips of the year and other species I caught all together, including yellow bass and catfish. Hitting those crappie when they were spawning uh, or getting ready to spawn, it was it was new uh, to me to catch crappie in the shallows like that, and I'm glad I know exactly when it, where I caught those fish. I will be back to do that again. And I did actually break my PB smallmouth with a six pound smallmouth bass up on the Great Lakes. Uh, I had never fished up there. That was totally new for me. Very clear water, different way of fishing and I ended up catching my biggest smallmouth ever, so that was huge. Make sure to download Fishbrain for yourself. Link in the top of the description. Use that link and you'll get 20% off a quarterly subscription with my exclusive code. I'll also have a link at the top of the description there for you to follow me on Fishbrain, which is LFG official. Follow me throughout all my catches in 2020. This is looking quite gnarly, y'all. I've never seen it this bad. It's like Yoo-Hoo mixed with Nestle with doo-doo in the middle of it. Oh, man. Look at that. That is some brown water and not the good kind. Okie dokie. A little light rain. Let's get this party started. At least it's not freezing yet. Oh yeah, we got the rain pants on. These pants still smell like goat. Like tar from New Zealand. Oh yeah, we got a stick. We got a big log stuck under there. Oh, this is where you need the rain boots, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the step sides come into play. Like I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my boat is floating off. That is not a good deal there. Okay, we are in a we are in a bad way right now. We are in a bad way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, what do I do here? Okay, we're gonna have to get wet. We're just gonna have to get. We're just gonna have to do it. It's either that or lose the boat. Oh, that is not how I wanted to start my day right there. This is a bad mother trucking deal here. Okay. Uh, here's what we can do. I'm gonna pull the, oh gosh, dang it. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad here. Oh man. Okay, put those there for now. Oh, absolutely soaked. Oh, got a big, you know, got a big log jammed up in the trailer. That's always good. Oh my gosh. What the hell is happening today? Now we got a problem because our boat is just floating. Our boat is just floating out here. Just started raining. We can only pray that it comes over to this other side. If the wind was blowing out that way, I would be 100% completely screwed. This is no taco bueno. I know something I can do. I've got a rope somewhere. I gotta get this rope quick. 
might be our only shot. Oh no, this is bad. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, be some rope up in here. Yes. Oh man. What a freaking mess. Need you to come back. Shouldn't be too hard to make myself a loop here and get this baby back. First attempt, not successful. Now this is fishing right here. This is fishing for your boat. God, if this wasn't so steep, I would just go over there and grab the front. Oh, God. God bless America. Please, Lord, let this rope go around this power pole. Wind's picking up. Oh, God. Okay. Oh yeah, we got we got something. We got something hard. Hell yeah. There we go. Propeller might make contact with the rock, but we'll take it at this point. Okay. Oh. Well, if you're not entertained by that, I don't know what to tell you. Unfortunately for me, I, I'm wet now. Um, I'm pretty wet. My boots are soaked. Went in past my, the top of my boots. It's a real nice, real nice. Had to put those on the old peat dry when I get home. I am definitely not gonna get on pad here because there's probably some floaters. In fact, I could see some around me, but whew, thank you Lord, there was no wind. The ramp was just so much higher I backed it in at my normal level and it just took off. So that was my fault, but um, we're gonna use extra precaution out here. Just take it slow and kind of scan out the deeps and see if we can find something. I'm starting to mark some fish on these brakes here, but they look suspended, which uh, I'm not surprised by since the water looks like, you know, mud. These fish are not grouped up, which is, not what I'm looking for, but I'm gonna idle all around this, this creek arm. I'm gonna go out to the main lake, see if I can find the cleanest water and see where I can find the most fish stacked up. All those favorite memories of uh, last year. Uh, I think I'm pretty safe to say this is not gonna be on my memory bank for 2020, this day. It is going in a southward direction and it ain't warm. And just to clarify, I am the only one out on the lake. Uh, not a single person is willing or they uh, they basically have the wits not to come out here. I, I am the only person uh, dumb enough or brave enough, whatever you want to say, to come out in such conditions. If it was just raining, it would not be bad. It's just the water clarity is pretty terrible. First spot, unsuccessful. Can't say I'm too surprised by that. I think a lot of these fish since they're suspended over this deep water, they're gonna be nearly impossible to catch because they can't see and they're suspended. So what I may have to do is, is look at where they are in the water column and try to find a drop that is holding them that's close to that, that depth. It's gonna be very hard to do, but I'm not giving up yet. We still got an hour and a half, probably until the rain gets super thick but it is getting a little windier and a little colder. A little, little fingertips are getting numb. You know, when it's like hard to tie knots, that's where we're at right now. Just in case there's some big dumb bass out there, I'm gonna switch up a tactic. Put on the old recon. Grande recon. So I'm actually marking quite a few fish 
in like 12 to 15 on this little break. And what I'm gonna do is just chunk this thing out there and see if I can dredge the bottom. Maybe I'm gonna get hung up, I don't know. I might hang into a 10 pounder, but there's these fish that are just hanging right there close to the bottom. And they, uh, I don't know what they are. They're pretty good size, so they're on a break. They very well could be the largies. It's gonna take a lot to get their attention and I think this is the just the thing to do it. You throw a big crankbait or a big spinner bait in water like this with big blades. Okay, no go on that little high spot. I'm going to try the dam because the dam goes out to deep water and I'm trying to hit where those fish are suspending and hit these rocks. And maybe they're gonna be intersected right there. This is this is like the only thing I could think of that is a you know an obvious piece of structure that meets where they're going to suspend otherwise it's going to be docks but this way i can keep this in the strike zone for a, a extended period of time and increase my chances of hooking one of these frigid blind bass i'm going with the most flamboyant color i can find and it's you know chartreuse blue back well, y'all, it's, uh, it's just about two, and I can hear the drops starting to get girthy. I've got a little beef behind them now, making some noise. Just an absolute beat down out here. Give me some Campbell's Chunky. This is a Campbell's Chunky moment right here. Hashtag Campbell's Chunky Soups. Ew. Oh, poo. That gum is frosty. Well, what can I say? Sometimes you smash them, sometimes you fall flat on your face. Uh, today was one of those face plants, and all I did was really get wet, get the, the boat wet, get all my gear wet, almost lost the boat. <laughs> I'm soaked, I'm cold, I'm probably making myself more sick. But hey, the, the truck looks good, and the factory rake that's been maintained with the lift worked out really well. Did a three and a half inch drop hitch on there. I think I picked out the right one perfect nice uh, nice and level uh with the new truck lift so i'm happy about that that's the only good news y'all i've got it i've got the sickness there's no doubt got the body aches i'm probably going to spend the next couple days on the turlet y'all stay tuned for the next one i'll give you the update on my health thank you for being here on every single one of these videos and thank you fish brain for sponsoring today's video god bless you i'll see you soon hopefully healthy and happy Boat's not moving, right? Like we're just. Yeah, I got a spotlight. Okay. Oh, here he comes. I got color. It's a big smallie. Dude, that is a big. That's smallie. a big smallmouth. That's a grown one. It's a fully grown one.